Hello, boys and girls. It's so good to see you. Hey, it's another music lesson. I'm so glad you decided to click on music and have music with me today. So we haven't sung it in a while. Today, we are going to start with, it's so good to see you. I almost couldn't wait. Could you clap your hands and count to 185? No, I'm just kidding. Could you count to eight? Four plus four is eight. That's right. Good job. So we're going to count to eight. Remember, the first thing we do is clap our hands. The second thing we do is pat our knees. The third thing we do is touch our nose. And the fourth thing we do is nod our head. Are you ready? Hmm. Do I need to show you the pictures? Here we go. You tell me, is it presenting? Oh, I gotta go back. I forgot I have to click that button. Ding. There I think I am now. All right, are you ready? Here we go. What do I wanna show, I, wanna, I don't want you to see that. Oh man, there you go. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Do, 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 do. <laughs> a little bit so we're going to count we're going to do multiples okay so now we're going to count by eight but we're also going to pat our knees and count by twos two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen this is going to help you count it's going to help you second graders and first graders and Going to help you guys learn how to start multiplying and then you're going to touch your nose and count by fives so we'll go 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 and then we're going to nod our heads and count by tens that's easy 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 and we're all doing this on a beat so we're keeping the beat which is a musical thing but we're adding some math in too. All right, are you ready? Here we go. This is all you and me. No singing with the kids, just us singing. Here we go. It's so good to see you. I almost couldn't wait. Could you clap your hands and count to eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pat your knees and count by twos. It's so good to see you. I almost couldn't wait. Could you pat your knees and count by twos? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Did you get it? Touch your nose, count by fives. It's so good to see you. I almost couldn't wait. Could you touch your nose and count by fives? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Yeah, I heard you. You did great. Tens. It's so good to see you. I almost couldn't wait. Could you nod your head and count by tens? Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. Yeah, great job. Woohoo! Excellent work. I am proud.
called. All right, let's see. So last week, if you did my lesson, we did some Halloween activities where we incorporated some pumpkin pies. Mm -hmm. If you missed it, I'm so sad for you. So let's see, last week, some of you even did your homework. You created rhythms. You were a composer. It was so awesome to get the little ding from Dojo and your homework sent to me. Thank you so much. So you created your rhythms by drawing pictures and then drawing the notes under it. So if we look at this rhythm, let's look at it and see if we can figure out what it is. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin has two sounds, pumpkin. So what kind of note is pumpkin? Pumpkin has two sounds. It's an eighth note. I heard you. Eighth note, pumpkin, good job. Now, pie, mm, I could go for some pie right now. Pumpkin pie would even be better. Hey, Thanksgiving's coming up, pumpkin pie, yum, yum. All right, anyway, mm, think Miss House. Pie, 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 one sound. What kind of note gets one sound? Quarter note, I heard you. Yes, a quarter note. Pumpkin pie. Good job. Pumpkin pie. Excellent. Now, tree. Tree. How many sounds? One sound. What kind of note? Quarter note. Yes, that's right. And then last week, ooh, that's a rough looking quarter note there, Miss House. Last week, we introduced the quarter rest, which told us to be quiet. So this rhythm, and you don't want to say shh too loud, or then you're really not being quiet. You understand what I mean? So here we've got pumpkin pie tree. Good job. Pumpkin pie tree. And on a Halloween groove activity, that teacher, that teacher on that YouTube video introduced the repeat sign. Everybody say, repeat sign. Very good. It tells you to repeat. You go back and do it again. So this time, let's repeat it again. So we'll do it twice. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Pumpkin pie tree. Pumpkin pie tree. Hmm. Wouldn't it be cool to have a pumpkin pie tree where you could just go and pick up a pumpkin pie? <laughs> that would be cool. Uh, anyway, okay. So today um, we're going to play this rhythm with an activity that we're going to do uh, about a tree. Ah, a tree with beautiful autumn leaves. All right. So if you were here in the classroom and I know you're not and it is kind of a bummer but anyway we would be talking about this instrument right here and this instrument right here is a xylophone everybody say xylophone I hear you the x y together makes the z sound xylophone very good a xylophone is a pitched percussion instrument and that means that we hit it Percussion instrument is an instrument that you hit to make it sound. You hit it and it has a certain sound when you hit it on a certain spot. So some of you might have one of these at home, a xylophone. Lots of kids get these at home. Now the parents probably get tired of hearing them sometimes, but anyway, here is a xylophone like you might have at home. Now not everybody has one, so don't be upset if you don't have one, it's okay. But most xylophones that kids would have at home would look similar to this and would sound something like this. Mm, that's a C scale, a nice beautiful C scale. Today, you guys, if you have a xylophone at home, would play the D and the G, excuse me, the D and the A on the song that we're going to play today called Autumn Leaves, if you want to play along. Now, there's a couple of ways we're going to play today. You can play the steady beat. 
You can play D and A at the same time if you have two mallets. Or you can alternate on the steady beat. Or you can play them at the same time. That's a skill that you have to really work at if you're playing at the same time. It's, it's a little bit harder than most people think. All right, so the song is called Autumn Leaves. Have you noticed the trees, the leaves on the trees changing? So the song is called Autumn Leaves, and it goes like this. Autumn, I'll sing it, you listen. Autumn leaves are falling, nights are growing chill. Maple leaves are turning red along the hill. Lots of rhyming words in there as well. Hill and chill. Well, not lots, but two words. Hill and chill are rhyming words. Let's listen to what it sounds like with the music. <laughs> on D. It'll sound better. Now, beautiful song. If we were in here, we would play the xylophones together. We'd take turns rotating, but we're not. So we're making the best we can. Now, if you don't have xylophones, you can always go back to the rhythm that we played right here or we made right here. Autumn leaves fall. Autumn leaves fall. And you can play that even on the D or the A. Um, nights are going to maple leaves are turning red along the lots of different ways to incorporate autumn leaves fall and the D and the A of the xylophone. Again, you have to kind of be creative at home. You're at home. So if you don't have any of the xylophones, autumn leaves are falling, nights are growing chill, maple leaves are turning red along the hill. In fact, let's do it one more time. Let me pick this up. Let's do it one more time while we play the music and I'll play the rhythm. Autumn leaves fall, that pumpkin pie rhythm. Pumpkin pie tree, pumpkin pie tree. Do you remember what I'm talking about? All right, so we'll play the song. Autumn leaves are falling. Now, if you're having a hard time learning it, remember you can always pause rewind and practice that's what i do love about my videos all right are you ready so i'm going to start the video and this time instead of me playing the xylophone i'm going to play the rhythm sticks remember you can get two wooden spoons from the kitchen you could play two pencils anything together to make your sound and we're just practicing the rhythm let me show you we're just practicing the rhythm. Pumpkin pie tree. 
pumpkin pie tree. Okay? All right. Here we go. Do, do, do. Make sure I get it right. <laughs> Autumn leaves are falling, nights are growing chill. Maple leaves are turning red along the hill. Ready? Autumn leaves are falling. Are growing chill. Maple leaves are turning red along the hill. Autumn leaves fall. Autumn leaves fall. Autumn leaves fall. Autumn leaves fall. job. Nice work. So, you know, it is a little different, but you've done a great job today. It's hard to sing with you guys in music when you're not here. I love to sing. I love to hear children sing and you're not here for me to hear you sing. Video yourself singing. Sing it in. Send it in. Little clip. Not a long clip, just a little clip of you singing. I would love it. Maybe I could put all the clips together. I post it on Facebook or Dojo. Ooh, that would be awesome. That's a thought. Anyway, autumn leaves are falling. Yes, I would love to hear you. Now, let's see. Um, practice that song. And we have some other things coming up um, that we're going to be doing. Thanksgiving's coming. And then Christmas. We have lots of music. Oh, I love Thanksgiving and Christmas music. So be sure to click on your music and have your music lesson with me. All right. I'll see you next time. Have a great week. Bye. Oh, don't forget to do, um, did see the dancing shoes on my page? That's a, um, a go noodle about voting. So make sure you pick up, click on that and you can get up and dance and move. All right. See you next time. Bye.